let you all know that uh, my understanding is there was a Freedom of Information Act request for our minutes. Mm -hmm. um, I had some exchanges with um, the reporter from the Needham Times who is wanting to know why our minutes haven't been up there and Chuck has done a great job of <laughs> going back and getting them gathered. Yeah. Uh, we Impressive. did take minutes. We did, but they, and they should be posted. Um, and um, we have some minutes to approve today. Is that we correct? Do. That's right. Okay. So uh, go ahead. I know you have um, the manager's K scale that you want. Yeah, did we call the meeting to order? I'm sorry, did I miss that? Yes, okay. I did. Okay, all right, here we go. Um, so yeah, the first thing on the agenda this evening is the manager case scale increase. Uh, and so the town manager has requested um, that the um, board vote to increase the manager's case scale to 3%. Um, you, as you know, the, uh, this board here um, voted a 3% increase for the non-represented employee group, the GE schedule, um, back during the summer. Uh, and so now um, we are looking to increase the case schedule in that same uh, percentage amount. And um, they would, we'd be dating that back to effective um, October 1 of 2020. Uh, and so um, that's what we're presenting to the board this evening. And I believe Chuck sent some, an attachment to you um, yeah. for your review, which was the management salary schedule that would include the 3% increase. I see. Yep. He had a memo as well. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. And so this evening, just so you know, right before um, we uh, met this evening at six, I was with Kate and Dave and Katie um, and the select board where she mentioned this to the select board, the 3% increase and mentioned that we would be meeting tonight to get your vote. Okay. I just have one. Um, go ahead, Rick. Madam Chair, just one question. Um, the three percent is fine, but why October one? Why not sooner? Well, that has been the town's um, common merit date for K schedule employees, Rick, okay. and so they run on a October one through September thirty. Gotcha. Okay. And not on the fiscal year. That's right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And. This is Joe, um, and maybe Rick, you you know the answer too. So this this increase is in in the budget for the the year um, fiscal twenty one. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. We have a guest. I just want to let them know. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I'm gonna admit them now. Okay. It, Joe, would also, and, and Rachel just shut me up because you, you know the sentence far better than I, um, the, the percentages has always been tradition to try and keep parity with the non-represented with the That's represent. correct. You're absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. Yep, absolutely right. No, I just asked, because, you know, as you know, under the current COVID, you know, a lot of, a lot of employers are not giving people raises, but I, that's just the crouch in me coming out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I guess I didn't get, join a union or get involved in a union uh, representation. Okay. Well, this right. is a non-union group. So. <laughs> but but you, you're trying to maintain parity with the union. Right, right. Yeah, right. We've I, always tried to do that for fairness and equity. Yep, yeah, we always have, yep. Got to be the daily dosage of the Jesuits, Joe. Just has to. Yeah. Be. Uh, okay, I got that off my chest now. I <laughs> to approve the recommend increase uh, a to the K scale employees. And I'll second it. 
All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, One more, Rachel, just a, a kind yes. of a dumb question. How many, how many employee, town employees are actually on the case scale? Do you have a sense? Oh, I think there's about 30 or so. Um, I can get, we can get you the exact number, but I think it's about 30. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's fine. Okay. Yep. Thanks. You're very welcome. Um, next up on the agenda is the minutes approval. And Chuck, I will let you uh, lead our charge here. But the, uh, Chuck sent over um, some minutes as part of the attachment as well, the attachment email. Yep. Um, so these are all the minutes going back the current fiscal year and last fiscal year. Um, there was one set that was already approved from last fiscal year, but um, so we figured we'd um, start in, with this, with the past two fiscal years for now for approval. Um, and as I've been going through to uh, make sure we have all the, the minutes there, um, a lot of them are in draft form, at least going back the four five years I've been doing them. Yep. So um, there may be some other old sets of minutes coming before you for approval as well in, in future meetings. So just a heads up there. Um, and then um, to Vivian's point, the I responded to the FOIA request on all the available minutes we had going back 10 years. And I just got access to the website um, yesterday to be able to post minutes. So those will be going up to the website um, okay. in the next day or so. Gotcha. So let's take them one at a time. I'm sorry, Rick, what did you ask? Who made the request um, that they go up on the website? Did, did someone make a specific request that these that the minutes get caught up, get voted that's on? That's something. That's something that is standard for our our public meeting. Okay. Yeah, we, they should have been up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, no. That that was my question. Was is I know that, and we all know that. But is a third party asked us to do that, or are we just good housekeeping? A combination of the two, Rick. So it's um, we did have a FOIA request for minutes, okay. uh, which we have um, complied with, um, and we are posting the minutes to the website. Okay, so. thank you. Yep. So. So let's take the, um, the minutes of November 5th. That was the uh, evening when we, uh, heard the grievance we held a, a grievance on the um yep. on the appeal as part of the appeal process uh, for the fire union i'll move um the acceptance of the minutes of november 5th 2019. i will second all in favor aye aye Motion passes unanimously to adopt the minutes of November 5th, 2019. Madam Chair, um, I will move. Why to does December 10 look just like? Chuck, I think that we have the wrong document for December 10. I thought that too when I looked at them the first time, Vivian, but they really are different. They're different. You looked at Miss Rachel. Blissett. Oh, I apologize. Yes, that was the follow up. Yep. Yeah. Correct. There was a continuation yep. was of. It was yeah. a continuation of the conversation. Right. Yep. And uh, it was not the formal appeal, but it was our deliberation. Right. Right. Yeah. The first meeting, the uh, board asked for some additional information. Correct. And then um, the second meeting was um, after presenting the additional information in um, your subsequent report as well. Madam Chair, I move to accept December 10th minutes as well. Thank you. I'll second that. All in favor? 
Hi. Okay, and then moving to. Uh, March 10th, 2020. March 10th. Madam Chair, I'll move. Uh, we accept the minutes dated September 29th, 2020. As in front of us. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. So this word the September 29th. Yep, next up is September 29, 2020. Well, I will move that we accept the draft minutes for the September 29th virtual Zoom meeting. I'll second. Our first Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll second it. Rick, thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. We've adopted those minutes. Great. Um, and we have, I think, Chuck, we have a couple of minutes from prior years that we need to finalize, correct? Correct. Yeah. So for the next meeting, I'll okay. bring you more sets of minutes. Okay. Very good. Yeah. We'll just uh, bring. Uh, meeting minutes to each of our meetings until we're all caught up and we all get them approved. So good. Okay. All right. All right. So that's great. Um, so just by way of other business, I just wanted to um, fill you in on a couple of things. Um, we are moving to uh, moving forward, as you know, with the class and comp study. And so we are working on having our vendor, um, Joellen, come and give a presentation to the personnel board. Um, so we're uh, on our way with that. She did send some updated information uh, to us that we're going to review and meet with Kate and Dave and Katie. Uh, and okay. then hopefully shortly thereafter, we'll uh, be arranging a presentation for the personnel board. Uh, the next bit of news I'd like to share is uh, from Kate. Um, she's looking to enter into executive session with the board in December. Uh, and she would like to uh, discuss collective bargaining strategy for all unions. And she would like to discuss that with you as a group. So we would be entering into executive session for that meeting in December. Okay, we don't have a date yet, but she just wanted me to make you aware that that's what she'd like to do. Great, thank you. So it might be helpful um, if we can schedule our November and December meetings, um, at least if we can get a date and then I can let Kate know um, when, uh, when we at least have selected and see if that works with her schedule. She, um, November is all booked up, um, but December is a little better, which is why she selected it. So um, if we can do that, that might be helpful for her. That's fine. And in preparation for that, Rachel, could you send out um, um, an email with the current collective bargaining agreements and the dates, their term oh, dates? Yep, certainly. That would be great. So we're looking to November. Yes, why don't we start there? Um, so let's see. I can't believe this month has already gone away. Um, so potentially the 10th or 17th, we've been uh, meeting on Tuesdays, if this works for everyone. Um, yeah. Tuesdays, yeah, yeah, Tuesdays are good. It does, yeah. Okay. Um, By Tuesday so we'll, the 17th. Yeah. Let's stay away from Thanksgiving week, I figured. So the 10th. That's the fine. Okay. Is everybody uh, good? 17th at 6? Tuesday the 17th yeah. at 6 is great. If you and Chuck could send that invite out, that would be great. 
Certainly, and we will be on Zoom again. Um, and as uh, we continue to, you know, progress our, you know, our COVID situation here, um, it appears it will remain um, virtual for the foreseeable. Um, so, is that, and then in December, I'm thinking eight or fifteen. How about an eight? The eight would be good. Yep. Vivian? That, that would work. Yeah. Okay. All right, very good. So I have a, a Tuesday, November 17th at 6 p.m. and Tuesday, December 8th at 6 p.m. We'll send out right. and if that, with links. If that doesn't work for Kate, would you mm -hmm. let us know? Oh, certainly. I'm going to let her know um, tomorrow. And okay. if it doesn't work, I will get in touch with all of you and let you know that we need a new date for December. Okay. But we'll try to keep it in the earlier uh, part of the month. Okay. That sounds good. All right. So that's good. So that's all I had for other business. Anybody have anything else? No. Chuck, how about you? No. Oh, that was it. Okay. All right. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. And then well, you I can talk about. <laughs> oh, it was a record meeting. Record. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Joe. I was thinking, I was looking at the um, agenda and I was like, wow, we did excellent on time today. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I will move to adjourn. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks so much for doing those uh, minutes. I know yeah. Uh, scramble. Yeah. Yeah. Chuck's yeah. done an amazing job. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no problem. Yeah. Thank you, Chuck. Glad, glad to be you know, glad they're up there and we're you know in compliance. So. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Makes sense. Very good. All right. Okay. We'll, have some more we'll have some more minutes on the 17th and we'll see you all then. Um, and just be looking out for emails with uh, the links to the meeting. Great. Thank Have you. Good night, everybody. Take care. Stay Thanks. safe. Take care, okay. everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. You will.